Ayan, magandang hapon sa ating lahat, no? Good afternoon. Sinon ko na. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon.
Hello, hello. <coughs> hello po. Ayun. Ah, uh, pa-confirm nga po kung uh, naririnig niyo ako. <coughs> Ayan, so usapang ano po muna tayo yung camera uh, Nakikita nyo naman po siguro sana si Ma'am Nelsie sa background uh, Sasagutin po niya yung ibang questions uh, Related po sa ano no, sa Sa, uh, ayan, sa survey, sa release of uh, certificates So Ayan, so okay po ba yung audio? Maayos? Clear? Kasi po, nag-iba po ako ng mic. Ayun, pero before ang lahat, good afternoon, Ma'am Jerly Sarmiento, Francia. Salamat po, Ma'am Lorena Alcantara, Ma'am Fe Ann Velasco, Villafuerte, uh, Ma'am uh, Ruchi Ranes Tapaya. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Ana Camposano, good afternoon po. Ma'am Shell, Shell, Ma'am Malu Munoz Gunay, Ma'am Flor Delis Orlanes uh, Bido, ayan. Uh, good afternoon po sa mga sa lahat po ng mga Bisaya nating uh, kapatid, ayan. Ayan, uh, Ma'am Ara Saplala, Ma'am Neriza Abila, Ma'am Clary Katigan Corpus, Ma'am Hazel Abelia, Ma'am Erilyn Custodio Alvarez, Ma'am Clarissa Baldosa, Ma'am Marjorie Joy Ramos. Uh, Ma'am, hindi ko po mabasa <laughs> Pero good PM po din no? Aurelin Valdez Gamboa Ma'am Estelle uh, Villaloso Ma'am Joy Duzo Sir Rolito Apuya Sir Ronald Sir Jonard uh, Palahang Sir uh, Jogil Beltran Ma'am Aim Obejero Sir Jonard Ayan uh, Ma'am uh, J. Ras <laughs> Ay de, sir pala to. Ayan sir, basketball din po tayo minsan uh, pag nakadalo kami sa inyo. Ayan. Uh, sir Celito Bilo, Ma'am Janice Romualdo, Ma'am uh, Mayet Corpus. Ayan, sa mga kapatid din po natin sa Cagayan uh, Valley. Uh, good afternoon din po. So, sa Cagayan Valley, uh, yung mga ibanag Sino dyan yung mga marunong daw mag-ibanag? Itawis, Ilocano. Ayan po. Tama po kayo. Ang apelyedo ko po ay ano. No, uh, pero ano po ako? Bisakano. Uh, share lang daw. Share. Kung curious kayo. Bisakano po ako. Pinaghalong Bisaya at Ilocano. Kaya minsan magulo din sa bahay at nagtatalo ang aking mga magulang. Ayan, Ma'am Jinky Maray, Ma'am Michiko Onson Rabara. Ayan. Uh, Ma'am Mary Rose uh, Kabudol. Opo. So ngayon po, uh, sa mga hindi pa nakakagawa, sa mga nakagawa na po, uh, yun, congratulations po, ang bilis nyo po. And uh, uh, challenging you to, ano no, to napagandahin pa po yung uh, gawa yung mga kamera. So, sa mga tapos na, uh, may matututunan pa rin po kayo dito kasi pipiliti nating pagandahin pa yung uh, ayan, yung camera na yan. Ayan, kaya ko po niyayaya kayo magkape <laughs> para ano lang po, no? para tamang chill lang. Ayan. Ayan, so good afternoon Ma'am Estelle Villoso, Ma'am Manilin Lasheras, Ma'am Chamro, Ma'am Sian Kadlaon, Ma'am Ann Cabrera Milarpis. <coughs> Ma'am Manilin Lasheras, ayan. So, sana po nakabukas din yung ano no, naka-launch. Uh, naka-open yung Uh, Fusion 360 nyo po Tapos 
Ayan, uh, live din daw po tayo sa YouTube. Okay, ayan. Um, game, game daw, game na. Okay, so may nakikita po tayong, sana nakikita nyo po yung ano, no, camera. Ay, Batangas! Ayan. Uh, saludo din po kami sa Batangas. Uh, first time, share ko lang po, first time namin nakakilala ng higher institution, ano? Higher educational institution na advanced mag-isip, hindi po yung compliance. Meron pong isang uh, university dyan, malupit po yung uh, president. And uh, magandang ano po siya, no, modelo para sa iba. So, stay tuned lang din po. So, ito po, no, uh, ang nakikita ko po sa ating camera ay, uh, yan, uh, I am seeing a rectangle. Tapos, uh, may, may nakikita po tayong 10, no, 10 ito sa kanan at the right. And uh, 50, ayan. Okay. So, pwede naman, no, uh, 10 plus, uh, 10 plus uh, 50, di ba, 60. Okay, so, kaya lang, uh, parang ang nakikita ko nito, eh, I don't know, no, if uh, na-remember nyo po, no, yung nag-create tayo dati ng extrusion, uh, meron pong uh, new body doon. So okay lang po ma'am uh, ma'am girly uh, uh, may pwede nyo pong i-replay itong ano itong uh, recorded din po to itong uh, live stream natin Ayan So itatabi ko lang siya siguro dito or mag altab altab na lang ako O simulan po natin no uh, game at 50 I am seeing uh, Ayan po I am seeing 50 and 100 so, ayan. Tapos, ang thickness niya, do, 15 plus 15. So, 30. Ayan. So, Ma'am Marilu Domingo, good afternoon po. So, 50, 100, and uh, 30. So, start po tayo dyan. So, ito, i-delete ko na po ito, no? Control W. Parang web browser din, no? So, don't save. Ito yung kanina, di ba, uh, kung na-recall nyo. So, seselect ko po yung uh, new design. Ayan. So, yung mga hindi pa po, ano, no, uh, tapos, uh, pa-inform na, na lang din sila na samahan tayo sa, ayan, live stream ngayon. Oo. So, 15, 130 again. No? I am seeing 50, height, no? length, uh, thickness niya, 30. Okay, so let's begin. Ito po, uh, panibagong... Uh, panibagong... Uh, ano no? Pampabilis ng workflow. Uh, instead po ng instead of heading up uh, to select create a sketch ayan uh, ang gagawin ko po ay pipindutin ko po yung R ayan para maiba lang R po R is uh, for rectangle ayan so pipindutin ko po R okay R kasi yung ano natin di ba ma'am uh, sir uh, rectangle po yan eh ayan so, pipindutin ko po R ha sa keyboard. Ayan, R. So, yung R, di ba, rectangle siya. So, again, bago tayo makakapag-sketch po, di ba, kailangan uh, magsulat or mag-draw sa papel. So, preferred ko po, no, mas maganda na mag-sketch tayo sa papel ng XZ. So, ang another, again, another visual cue for... Uh, XZ. Alam kong XZ to kasi pag tinignan ko po yung view cube, no, yung front ay naglalay sa X and uh, Z axis. So, select po natin yan. Okay. 
<clears throat> so, punta po ako sa front view na, no? Ayan. Tapos, di ba, uh, kanina po, uh, I mentioned the importance of uh, centering things sa uh, center lagi sa gitna as much as pwede. <clears throat> Ayan. So, pupunta po ako sa sketch palette kasi itong center rectangle ay ano eh, uh, mas minimit niya yung ating ano uh, purpose or intent. Okay? So, seselect ko po yung uh, center rectangle. So, ang kakaiba po dito ay ang hinahanap po niya ay uh, ayan no, uh, place center point. <clears throat> Ayan, good afternoon Ma'am uh, Nida Fabiliar Ma'am Odessa Rosario So, center point no So, i-drop po natin yung first center point natin sa Ayan, sa origin po Ayan, yung origin yan to turn on, off So, ito po yung parang uh, XYZ, 0, 0, 0 Ayan, so left click na po ako Ayan uh, I-move ko na po yung mouse Okay? So, nahalata nyo po no, sa left uh, side. May dimension po doon, currently highlighted in uh, blue. Okay? Meaning, uh, yan po ay uh, active sa ngayon. So, ta-type ko po 50. Okay? And then, I can cycle through, now, through uh, the dimensions by hitting tab tab po sa keyboard uh, sa taas ni caps lock tab ayan so notice po highlighted yung uh, ano natin yung isang dimension no 103.594 so highlighted siya meaning active uh, ilagay po natin 100 ayan so uh, parang nakalock na sila no meron ng padlock so i'm going to hit enter just in case po no hindi niyo ginawa yung ganyang method. Uh, pwede naman pong ano, di ba? Ah, uh, kunyari hindi niyo nagawa. Yan. Pwede naman di later uh, you can grab the dimension. So select niyo lang po yung ano, dalawang horizontal, di ba? 50 to. Ito, 100. Yan. 100. Ayun. So okay na po tayo no, ah uh, Siguro ngayon, uh, ang batas natin ay dahil fully defined naman po itong challenge na to, uh, di ba? Uh, sundin natin yung ano, no? dimensions. Ayan. So, itim na siya, no? Fully, cons fully constrained, fully defined. Hindi ko na po ma-move. Ayan, no? Left click and hold. Ayaw. Okay? So, let's now select uh, finish sketch. Okay? And then, extrude na po. Ayan. Uh, select extrude. So, ayan na. So, move ko to para magkaroon siya ng uh, thickness na. So, again, uh, di ba, ang uh, golden rule natin, tingnan nyo po, yung origin nandito banda. Okay? So, para maiba yan, papalitan ko po yung direction ko ng symmetric. Ayan. So, pag minumove ko na yung arrow, Ayun po, nasa gitna na yung uh, dimension. So, in addition, uh, sa measurement, I'm going to change to define ano, no, this via its ano, via whole length. So, ano ulit yun? So, 15 plus 15. Okay? Just to add... Uh, sa mga numerical fields po uh, meron, we can perform uh, MDAS uh, mathematical operation so I can type diba? Uh, ano lang for uh, FYI for demonstration purposes 15 plus 15 although alam naman natin 30 yan diba? yan so additional alam lang po no? na pwede tayong mag calculator dyan okay? so operation new body selecting okay Ayan. So, next, uh, gawin naman natin itong sa taas. May linya kasi, eh, no? Uh, so, 15. So, 30 din siya. Pero, ang taas niya ay 10. Okay? So, this time, 
hindi ko na kailangan uh, mag-sketch. Kasi ito po din, itong uh, face na to is also considered as a uh, profile. Okay? And, uh, and to prove that, I can hit uh, E or select E. Select ko po ito. Ayan, oh. Nag-extrude na siya. Okay? So, but this time, under operation, I'm going to select new body. Ayan. Okay. So, yung first extrusion natin, it created a single body. So, notice nyo po, no? Ito under sa browser natin. I am seeing uh, body 1. Okay. So, ang height niya ay 10. Uh, key in natin. Pwedeng dito po. And pwede rin dito sa panel na to. So, 10. Once more, uh, operation, new body. Ayan. So, confirmed. 10 siya. Okay? So, next. Ayan. Uh, ang sunod naman nakikita ko, uh, actually, kahit ano naman po ang uh, unahin nyo, no? So, sa akin lang, ito naman yung ano, ito yung magkinagandahan po nito. Everyone has his uh, and her own strat strategy po no in uh, doing uh, these challenges so ako po no sa sariling point of view ko uh, i ayan no i am seeing uh, 50 okay so again we need to create a sketch that is ano no that has a uh, circular uh, profile okay so Meron tayong, di ba kanina, yung papel na sinusulatan natin, XY, XZ, YZ. Uh, dito rin po, no, pwede rin, meron din tayong additional na papel. As long as yung papel na po yun ay patag. So, meron ditong patag na papel. etong face po ng ating uh, rectangular block dito. No? Ayan. So, pwede rin tayo mag-sketch dyan. So, select ko to, no? I can right click or pwede po ulit, no? Head po kayo dito, select uh, create sketch or dito na. So, ano lang, no? What I'm sharing is time saving, ano din. Dahil nandito na tayo, right click na lang. So, create sketch. Ayan. Balik po tayo sa front view para makita natin na maayos. Okay. Tapos, uh, I'm seeing itong 50, Sir X-Ray Electronics. Ayan. Uh, good afternoon po. Thanks for joining us. Uh, kung may kakilala po kayo na probably magugustuhan nila to, uh, same po with Ma'am Malugunay, uh, please invite them uh, to join us. Ayan. So, 50... Uh, Height niya or thickness is 20. Okay? So, hindi ko po basta-basta ilalagay yan. No? What I am seeing then right now is, I'm going to create a line. Ayan, L po. Pinidod ko po L line. Uh, the drop ko siya dito sa ano na to, corner na to. Left click. Punta ako dito. Ayan. Kaya lang, ano eh, ah, hindi po siya nag snap Ayan, so en enable ko po yung snap in addition. Sa sketch palette po, uh, tinik ko. Enable uh, snap. So, ilagay ko po siya dyan, snap ko siya dito sa next point. Okay lang po ma'am, ah, wala pong mali. Uh, kung walang line yung second body it's okay uh, ako lang po dinedemonstrate ko po lang yung ano parang my point of uh, uh, my workflow or my point of view ayan pero wala pong mali ang gust ang request lang po sana namin ay yun pagandahin nyo pa po lalo ayan so we created a diagonal line no? uh, and then again because this is just a helper Parang tinutulungan niya lang tayo sa pag-create ng ating talagang ano, geometry. So, sesele ko po siya ulit. And, uh, sesele ko po. Selected na po yung diagonal line. Sesele ko po. Construction. 
Ayan. So, dash line na siya. Okay. So, next. Ayan na. Yung circle na. So, sa taas. Uh, or, I can hit C for circle. Okay. So, in addition po, we can create the circles or the circle here. Again, ano po yung ano? Diameter 50. Ayan. So, lagay na po natin, no? Kasi active yung dimension field. It says, ano? Ayan, 44, 4, 5, 7. So, lagay ko na 50. Ayan. Enter. So, okay lang po yan. Na nandyan. Kasi, di ba po, uh, if you can recall, uh, kanina, no? Early this morning, di ba? na yung constraints uh, minu move niya yung mga items so next our intent is to move uh, the center point of this circle going to the midpoint of this diagonal line so tama po yung uh, ano nyo no tama po kayo ang uh, constraint appropriate for that is uh, midpoint okay so I'm going to select the center point of our circle and the diagonal line. Okay? Left click. So, automatically, di ba, dinala niya si circle papunta kay diagonal line. Ayan. Tapos, again, uh, make it a habit po, no, to move. So, minove ko, parang may error, no, hindi siya nag-snap doon. So, hindi talaga siya nakadikit pala dyan. <clears throat> so, let's uh, try applying coincident. Ayan. So, if you recall, coincident po ay pinagdidikit-dikit niya yung mga bagay-bagay. So, select ka natin to Try natin. Yung end point at saka itong uh, corner dito. Ayan. Left click. Ayan. Umitim na. So, try ko nga galawin. Ayaw na po. Tama tayo. Tama na. So, in addition, no, uh, kanina, di ba, we created, we opted to create a new body. So, ito po siya, nag-register here. So, our second body. Ayan, ito po yung first na ginawa natin, second. Okay, and uh, uh, both of these bodies are represented also here in our uh, timeline as extrude 1. Okay, and uh, extrude 2. Ayan. So, uh, good afternoon, Ma'am Mabel Luan Singh. Saan po yung ano, Padre Garcia? Curious lang po. Mm. Okay. So, sabi ni Sir X-Ray. Ayan. So, AutoCAD. Ah... Uh, uh, in the sa upcoming series po natin I'll be sharing no on how to wala po ulit uh, tapon kumbaga no yung ginawa nyo po sa AutoCAD so na notice nyo po uh, kanina di ba yung gawa ni Miss Shaira uh, from AutoCAD din nila niya sa TinkerCAD same din po dito no we can bring ano our works from AutoCAD into uh, Fusion 360 po at wala din pong tapon uh, it can be reused hindi lang reused ano uh, we can make improvements and you'll be surprised po kung paano yung uh, compatibility nila uh, with each other po ayan so okay na tayo kasi itim na no so i'm going to hit e Another method po, no? E for extrude. Instead of selecting finish sketch, pwede pong i-select nyo E agad. Ayan. So, highlighted po yung select, no? It prompts us to select a profile or profiles. So, pag nag-hover ako dito, this is a profile and this is also a profile. So, dalawang profile pala kasi nahati siya na ito, eh, ba? So, select natin. Ayan. And 20. Okay, so ipul ko to, no? 
Mm. Ayan. So, imbis na join, notice po, no, pag sinelect ko join, ayan, sa select ko, ah, yung body natin naging isa. So, it means lahat nung nagkadikit, magkakadikit, so lahat nung juxtapose, ayan, no, uh, nag-merge sila into one. Okay? So, ang maganda sa ganitong instance, again, my point of view only, no, is under operation, I'm going to create a uh, new body uh, instead. Ayan. So, selecting new body. Again, the ano, no, the thickness of this ano, no, cylinder is uh, dito na lang. No? Dito natin lagay. 20. Okay. Selecting. Okay. Operation new body. Ayan. So, later, uh, Sir JC Pilapil, good afternoon po. Uh, isi-save din natin yan. Uh, okay. Tapos, ipapakita ko din po kung paano siya isave as uh, STL, uh, ready for uh, 3D printing. Ayan. So, I'm hoping, no, you're, uh, you're following along and uh, If we don't have a computer model of all this stuff, how do we create one? We're using a bunch of tools to do exactly that. Um, some laser-based tools known as LiDAR, photo-based tools, just a camera to use what we call photogrammetry. So photogrammetry is a process of getting a three-dimensional model or object from photography. Photogrammetry works by having an object and taking different pictures from different positions. And the computer goes in and looks at every single pixel of each image and every other image and it makes a database of features. A unique shape from this angle of this photo is matched to one from another photo and that tells us where in space the camera was when the photo was taken. And once we know where all the cameras were when the photos were taken, we can now triangulate based on those triangles and create a three-dimensional model of all of the points. LiDAR is a laser-based technology. It can be mounted in an airplane, we can put it on a tripod. It's, it's a piece of gear that shoots a laser out up to a million times a second and it creates this, what we call a point cloud, this incredibly rich photorealistic cloud of points that we can then bring into the computer and start converting that raw data to actually solid models. These tools are very important because the old way of doing documentation of important historic sites was really done through surveying. And in traditional surveying, you could maybe make a few hundred measurements uh, in a day. Uh, a laser scanner today takes about one million 3D measurements per second. You're not just uh, finding the edges of buildings or the corners of the nose uh, at Mount Rushmore, you are getting the entire uh, experience of what is there. And that allows us uh, to do better visualizations, better ways of studying how to care for these objects. What we're doing here is not only a good fit for critical infrastructure, but it can work for any physical thing that hasn't been modeled in the computer. So a building, a car, a thing, we've got solutions for that. Ayan. So kanina po, no, I, I would like to add na, na mention kanina photogrammetry. Uh, so, ang ginagawa po nun, basically, it's, ano no, we're taking pictures uh, from different angles, okay? So, to our subject, and then we throw it to the cloud, okay? And then, uh, the, the processing power, of course, when you say cloud, so probably it's a thousand no, servers or doing the computational work, uh, it will bring back a 3D file po, and that 3D file, uh, just to add, we can bring it also into uh, Fusion 360. So, kunyari, laruan yan, Gundam Wing, ba? I can take pictures, or for myself na lang, ako din mismo, I can have a small uh, figurine, ba? 
bring it over to Fusion 360, edit ko, and then, ano do, have it 3D printed. Ayan. <coughs> okay? So, uh, paki-invite na lang din po uh, yung mga friends nyo uh, to join us. Baka po may questions uh, din sila. So, good afternoon, Sir Joas Hementisa, Ma'am Ann uh, Millar Pis. Ayan. So, may nabanggit si Ma'am about nawawala. So, whenever we consume a uh, sketch, so notice po dito sa timeline natin, <coughs> Diba gumawa tayo ng sketch 1, kinonsume siya ng extrude 1. Nawala yung ano, diba? Yung sketch. Pero actually, uh, kinonsume yung visibility niya. Nandito pa rin lahat yan, recorded. So I can head over to sketches folder, no? Turn this on and off. Same po sa, yan. Sa sketch 2 natin. So with that in mind, diba? Definitely, we can reuse uh, this existing sketches. So same din kanina when we performed ano no uh, extrusion extrude two, de ba? Uh, we reused the face of our extrude one. Kaya lang uh, in that instance, we did not create any sketch. Kaya sketch one and two lang. Ayan. So, Ma'am Maria, Ther Maria Teresa Sarabia. Ayan. Thanks for joining. So, lahat, paano kaya to? Lahat, ah, mamaya ko na lang announce Sige, sige. Mayroon po akong special treat uh, sa lahat po ng nandito po ngayon. Okay. <clears throat> May isi-share po ako na additional uh, resource. Ayan for uh, being here uh, with me uh, this afternoon. <coughs> so, moving forward, uh, let's create naman itong uh, viewfinder. Ayan. So, again, uh, yung uh, special treat ko daw sa inyo ay sa atin-atin lang. <laughs> Okay, uh, so again, let's create the viewfinder. Uh, I'm seeing 30, 10, and a 45 uh, degree an angle. So, ayan, tatandaan ko nga po yung hashtag na yan, uh, digital rice, pati yung iba po. Uh, kung pwede po sana, i-message nyo po sa akin yan sa LinkedIn. Uh, to tell you frankly, mas madalas po ako sa LinkedIn. And the reason I'm only in FB is uh, to influence everyone to go into ano, no, LinkedIn. Mas lalo na po yung students, uh, parang, uh, para lang po ilayo sila sa negativity at uh, kung ano-ano man na nangyayari sa Facebook. Kasi po, ayan, uh, sa LinkedIn po ay all positive vibes uh, from the term itself professional no so you are required to act uh, professionally ayan so sa mga kaibigan po nating mga Ilocano sa Ilocos uh, hoping uh, to visit you there as well Ma Mary Grace Padilla ayan uh, okay so Ma'am Aya Valencia Ma'am Ana Camposano so let's create now the viewfinder. So I am seeing uh I am seeing that we are required, no? Again from my point of view po, everyone uh has his or or her own attack in creating this, diba? Pero ako po, nakikita ko po, I will create a profile na may 45 degree. Ayan. Ayan, parang dami ko nakikita mga Ilocano, no? Tsaka mga panggalatok na kami sa tuloy pumunta dyan. Okay? So, 
let's create a sketch. So, kailangan na naman po natin ng papel, di ba? And, ang may nag exist na papel na dyan. So, ito po yung isa sa advantage ng nasa gitna. So, dahil nasa gitna po ito, notice po itong YZ na plane na to Pag nagpunta ako sa top view, ayun o, nasa gitna siya. So, dahil nasa gitna siya, pwede kong ma-utilize yan. So, dahil uh, papel siya, no? tawag natin papel, pwede tayo mag-sketch dyan. So, with a YZ selected, I can right-click, di ba? Create sketch. Okay, let's head over to uh, right view. So, I'm not sure, parang may bug ngayon yung Fusion 360, pero dapat pag nagse-select ako ng, nag-enter ako ng sketch mode, automatic nag a yan sa view natin eh. Ngayon, hindi siya nag a I don't know why, pero nakaano naman ako. Naka-show projected. Anyways, uh, selecting right view. Ayan. Okay. So, let's now create uh, this uh, profile na may 45 uh, degree. Ayan. So, good news. Uh, I'm not aware na pwede siya sa 32-bit. Ayan. Okay. So, ano po ah? I, I am not, ano no, ah. <laughs> Uh, pushing you to purchase a new laptop but uh, I just want you to be aware no na we're, we're dealing with ano no uh, processing CPU demanding uh, softwares so kung sa tingin nyo naman po it's a worthy uh, investment so go ahead po uh, purchase a uh, new hardware okay Ayan, so connect lang po kayo sa akin. Uh, I I I I'm willing to share no on how you can maximize uh, if ever na bumili po kayo ng ano no ng uh, new laptop or to the young ones no na hindi lang hindi lang siya sana no, no, no waste of time no pwedeng ano din no pwedeng uh, uh, sa side gig no. Okay? So let's create na etong rectangular sketch. So, L po. I'm going to hit L for line. Ayan. So, let's create that profile. So, parang ito yan, di ba? Ayan, ganyan. Ganyan. Tapos, ganyan. Pero, notice po, no? Hindi siya profile. Kasi, hindi po nag-highlight, no? Okay? Ayan. Tapos, ako po, uh, preferred personal preference lang po, no? Uh, I'm going to head over to grid and snaps. Tapos, preferred ko po hindi siya nag snap to grid. Mas lalo na kung, kunyari po, ito ay from the scratch, uh, from prototype. Uh, mas preferred ko po na hindi ako nag snap to grid. At saka tinatanggal ko po itong incremental move. Uh, so, i-disable ko po, ha? Ayan. So, hindi pa pala ito nakadikit ng matindi, no? So, grab nga natin. So, coincident. Ayan. Ito, end point, tsaka itong point, idikit natin. Same here. Ayan, tsaka ito. Again, hindi pa rin siya, ano, profile. So, another way, instead of uh, creating a new line, pwede naman, di ba, line mula dito, papunta dun. Uh, I can also project, reuse existing geometry. So, meron na po tayong edge dito, no? Uh, just to add, we can reuse that. No, uh, I can hit P, the shortcut for project. Ayan, project is uh, P. Ayan. Nandun siya, under create. Pero, syempre, ako po, di ba, hinanap ko. Hinanap ko pa siya. Pero, alam ko naman kasi na, na P yung shortcut. So, keyboard shortcut, P. Pero, Uh, ayan, no? make it a habit again to move no your uh, enti the your entities your sketch entities to determine if it needs a uh, a constraint or a dimension so 
what I'm seeing is it requires a an angle in 45 so hitting D uh, for uh, dimension let's select this uh, diagonal line and this horizontal edge so ang pagpi-place po ng dimension ayan idali nyo lang po siya sa intended ano nyo po no location and left click okay keying in 45 next uh, merong 10 ayan so ilagay natin si 10 so selecting this horizontal line no and this horizontal edge ayan 10 Ayan, so good afternoon ma'am uh, Divina May Kapwa from Pangasinan. Wow, ang dami natin mga kaibigan sa Pangasinan. So, tanong po ni ma'am Ana, uh, mabigat ba ang fusion? Uh, uh, hindi naman po, no? Actually, mas mabigat po yung, ano no, parang mas mabigat, mas mabigat actually talaga yung AutoCAD. Kasi kung di-download nyo po ito, 700 MB lang ito ma'am. Parang isang movie lang yun. Uh, coming from a torrent, torrent site. Ayun, Mandawe. Uh, naalala ko po si Sir uh, J.P. Manyago ata yun. Dati po, 3 years ago, uh, we visited uh, Cebu. So, yung panahon din po na yun, no Ang intent din ay para ma-bring yung Autodesk. So, grabe, no? Uh, inahabot tayo ng ilang taon uh, for this. Ayan, so, kamusta po? Pati yung uh, comprehensive. Parang sa, sa Cebu po, nanibago ako eh. Uh, meron pa lang doong ano, day and night school. Ayan. So, yung iba po kasing mga nakita kong deaf ed schools, walang ano yun, no? Day and night. Tapos, yung mga principals po nila ibang principal pala no sa day ibang principal pa rin pala sa sa night ayan so la, sharing my experience wonderful experience in Cebu so itim na po no itim na uh, i cannot move this anymore so again tama na po it's constrained diba we can now hit e for extrude again uh Ma let's make things symmetrical. Ayan, symmetric. Pull nyo lang po to, pull nyo. Ayan. Tapos, ano daw? Ang uh, 30. Ayan, 30. So, let's key in under measurement. Pag ito po, syempre 15 kasi kalahate. Diba? If, it, if it's full length, then we have to indicate this is 30 and uh, uh, to reiterate again we can perform mathematical operations here so I can type 15 diba, multiplied to 2 which is the same as 30 and the uh, operation uh, I want this isolated no so in business join I'm going to select new body so meron pong new component uh, Yan po yung sa next uh, series of uh, trainings natin. No? Yan, new body na lang muna tayo. Okay? Selecting, okay. So, ilan na yung body natin? Ayan. Upat na daw, upat. Okay? So, in addition, nagkataon lang po konti yung uh, parts and components natin. Pero I'm sure in the, in the future marami. So, it's a great habit then no? Like yung mga umatend po sa premiere na always, no? Be organized to avoid con confusion uh, sa sarili nyo pong gawa. So, so body, siguro rename natin to. Left click lang po ginawa ko, no? Parang same sa premiere. Left click, tas left click ulit. Main body. Ano to? Ah... Uh, uh, sabi na lang natin camera panel okay eto uh, lens 
eto uh, viewfinder enter yan all right uh, moving forward uh, ayan i am seeing naman this time we have a uh, box uh, 15 and 5 ay hindi pala parang wala pala siyang ano no wala siyang dimension okay so let's select this face no dito tayo mag sketch right click create sketch okay let's head over to uh, top view okay so notice din po no di ba ito po yung uh, isometric view ng ating camera uh, pag, sin pag sinilek ko po yung home view sa bahay ni kuya ayan no, pareho siya so I'm hoping na ganun din po yung sa inyo hindi, to, hindi yung eto nakahiga ng ganyan pag select nyo ng uh, home view ayan so pag sinilek ko yung home view ganyan din same with our ano no uh, our 2D challenge ayan, 2D ang image ng camera here Okay. So, we are in sketch uh, mode kasi I'm seeing uh, finish uh, sketch yan this green uh, button. Okay? So, selecting R. No, let's create a rectangle here. So, pinalitan ko po no ginawa kong center rectangle. Ayan. Ayan. So, check natin kung an wala siyang sinabi sa size niyan, di ba? So let's make ano no. So ito pala ay meron tayong ano creative freedom. So uh, ako 10. 10 na lang. Okay, tapos yeah, square siya no. So instead of grabbing ano uh, dimension, mag-dimension ulit ako ng dito ng 10. Pwede ko po, dahil 10 na po to, no? I can have this equal. Ayan. So, gamit po ng constraints. Equal. etong line na to at etong line na to. So, perfectly uh, square na siya. Ayan. So, I can move this. Ayan. Okay. So, siguro igit na na lang din natin to, no? Yan, igit na na lang din natin. Create a diagonal line. Na lang din. From here, going uh, here. Pero, gumagalaw pa rin. No? So, we have to grab our coincident constraint. Select ko po ito. And, ito. Okay? So, again, helper lang to no? So, let's turn this as a construction entity. With this selected, instead of heading to construction, ang shortcut key po nun ay X. Ma'am, wag po tayong umasa sa, ano, sa replay. Samahan nyo na lang po kami, Ma'am Karen uh, Gonzalez. Uh, thank you, Ma'am Jam or Sir Jam Z Son Diam. Ayan. So, kay Ma'am Ann, uh, later po, no, pagkatapos ko, uh, Miss Nelsie will, ano, no, uh, be taking over to have few announcement and to answers po lahat ng uh, query nyo uh, regarding sa release of uh, certificates. So, bibigyan niya po tayo ng update. So, currently, she's, as you can see, she's at my back. Ano, ha? Uh, ayan releasing the certificates. Okay? So to hindi pa po naman siya nakadikit pa dito, no. So again, para gumit na its midpoint. So selecting this point and uh, this line. Yan. Hina po talaga ng connection. Saan po 'yan? Uh, saan connection Ma'am Karen Paho? Uh, are you pertaining to the certificate or uh, using Fusion 360 in relation to internet connection? 
Pero just to add, no, uh, from time to time, uh, ini-scrub po ng uh, cloud yung Fusion 360, no? Kung may updates yan, parang ino auto save din niya. So, if you have a uh, slow internet connection, uh, uh, what you can do is, you can head over to job status and uh, disable working online. <laughs> yung Photoshop, sir. Ayaw ba ma-download, sir, yung trial? Or, huh? Working. Working yung trial kasi yung system mm. Gamitin nyo na po, sir, yung uh, 2020. Mas maganda na rin yung uh, updated. At saka, definitely, mafo-force ka din naman. If you're a deaf ed uh, teacher, you may, uh, alam ko, meron po kayong, ano, diba, uh, license. So, actually, the trial that we are, ano, no, uh, pinapadownload namin sa inyo ay para lang po sa mga walang, ano, walang, uh, uh, walang, walang software. And, uh, this po, this trainings naman po kasi is open to everyone. Hindi po siya exclusive to deaf ed. So, kung may mga pamangkin po kayo, anak, kapitbahay, you know, ayan, everyone is uh, free to join us. Ayan. So, yung output, meron din po akong surprise later. Ayan. Uh, samahan niyo po ako, Ma'am Zell or Sir Zell to Wazon. Uh, I'm not sure kasi po uh, ang bala ko po sana sa Photoshop ay i-send yung ano eh i-send yung mga output files na nagawa natin sa actual class para makita nyo as a reference so kung hindi nyo po gamit yung latest version hindi nyo siya mabubuksan so moving forward let's ayan no uh, fully constrained na siya hit E for extrude ayan Ano daw height? Uh, the height is 5. Okay. 5. Hit enter. Tapos, pwede nyo pong i-edit ulit yan. So, ako, in-enter ko ko agad, no? Hindi ko na notice kung new component, ay new body ba siya or nag-join. So, if you're planning to edit, any of the features here na na-create nyo, no? you can head back to the timeline and you can double left click. Ayan. Tiki-tik. Ayan, sabi nga nila. So, na-join ko pala. Okay? So, papalitan ko siya into new uh, body. Ayan. Parang ang taas. So, in addition, no, I can measure edges. So, notice po, select ko to at uh, an sa bottom uh, right may sinasabi siya dyan, no one edge selected with a length of 5 millimeters <coughs> ayan so confirm it's 5 next ah to may cylinder ulit tayo so same process diameter is 20 uh, this time, no, ibang ano, way naman, no. Imbis na sisele ko to, tas right click, create sketch. Pwede rin pong i-call out na natin yung circle, no. C na agad. And then, ngayon, no, tinatanong ako, uh, select a plane or planar face. Yan, pwede kong i-select tong face na to. Left click. Okay. Heading over to top view. Yan. Gawin ko na lang siya dito. Type ko 20. Tama ba? Yep. So, diagonal line na lang ulit, no? So, ito papunta dun. So, checking. So, make it a habit again to move, to, to check, no? If they are fully constrained. So, turning this into a construction entity. Selecting X. Okay. So, selecting uh, midpoint, dali natin tong center point papunta kay diagonal line. Left click. Ayan. So, we're done. Hit E for extrude. Prompted. 
to select a profile and color blue selecting this uh, circular profile I prefer the operation to be new body and the height to be 5 as well so 5 changing the operation once more to new body selecting ok ayan tama may kulang pa ba tayo so congratulations nakailang minutes na ba tayo uh, dami ko po kasing daldal no pero saglit lang naman din siya di ba sir ma'am Anyways, yung the flash uh, thingy that you're mentioning, uh, we created a sketch po sa YZ. Ayan. So, in addition, no, I, I can move back in time. Kung naalala nyo po, no? So, eto po, itong timeline marker na to. Pwede kong i-move yan, no? to the point na hindi ko pa nagagawa si viewfinder okay so isang um, way din yan of checking so i-move ko po todo to no by selecting ito na lang itong full backward okay and then I can also play select display button so tingnan nyo po ah from here I am uh, seeing no how this uh, model or yeah, this CAD model was created. So, I'm going to select play. Ayan. So, nakita nyo po kung paano ko ginawa. Selecting play again. <coughs> Ayun. And uh, to go back to our default state, no? Again, the, the thing... <laughs> The thing daw is, uh, nag-create po ako ng sketch. Ayan, yan yung hugis ng sketch ko. Tapos, in-extrude ko po siya. Symmetrically again. Okay? So, going to the end. The move to end. Select ko to. Bang. Ma'am Arlene para lehas. Thank you for joining us. Ma'am Ate Jo. Uh, thank you for inviting or tagging uh, uh, your friends as well. Hoping uh, they can join us. So, tapos na. So, lahat po nang tapos na, no? Uh, I'm hoping na... I-level up nyo pa po yung mga camera na nagawa nyo. Okay? Pagandahin pa po natin siya uh, sana lalo. So, pagaday na natin or uh, may uh, patalastas muna. Uh, share ko lang po yung uh, overview ng uh, Fusion 360. What if you had a concept for a new design? Something that could change your world or the world at large? Whether that be a transmission, a robot, a drone, a bike, a surfboard, or an ice axe. How would you bring it to reality? Today you can make just about anything, but is your development process barrier free? Do you need expensive hardware, specialized graphics cards, or are you forced to use Windows just to start designing? Do you need an IT team in limitless patience to simply update service packs or implement new software? Or do you need to transfer files from one tool to another? And if you do, do you know what's lost during the translation? With Fusion 360, let those barriers become a worry of the past and harness unrivaled breadth while you're at it. When it comes to design, if your design begins on a napkin, you can bring it to life using the free form modeling tools. Create a form in seconds, grab vertices, edges, or faces, and simply push or pull to your liking. When it comes to the finer details, having parametrics is essential to ensure the correct form and fit and changes propagate through the history thanks to those parameters, equations, and relationships. For some of the more complex geometry, surface modeling tools can be put to work. If you're making sheet metal parts, you'll want to use the dedicated workspace. 
Here you can turn those design parts into flat patterns while compensating for bends. Or if you find the history-based design to be restricting, use the direct modeling mode where we can translate, rotate, and change geometry without rethinking the history. Perfect for quick edits, defeaturing, or repairing imported geometry. Next, we'll turn your attention to the Mesh workspace, where you can edit and repair those scan files, such as STLs and OBJs. The generative design approach will simultaneously synthesize multiple CAD-ready solutions based on real-world manufacturing constraints and product performance requirements. With the help of cloud computing, this technology has the ability to augment the output of engineering teams to explore the full design space of any design challenge. Fusion 360 gives you the flexibility to choose the best modeling method or methods, no matter where you are in your designs. When you've made the geometry, it's time to assemble the pieces and ensure the proper motion is captured or restrained. Assembly modeling will describe the working relationships between components with joints, such as sliding or rotation. With joints, you can limit range of motion, add cause and effect, and other relationships that are hard to create with traditional mates. Before moving forward with the design, vetting its performance with a digital prototype can help avoid wasted efforts and dead ends. That's why every Fusion 360 user has access to powerful finite element analysis tools. The integrated simulation workspace ensures seamless handoffs from the design and opens up a laundry list of available study types and failure checks, from the commonly used linear static analysis to thermal, modal frequency, buckling, and so on. Thanks to the ability to offload these time-consuming calculations to the cloud, we can solve more study types, more iterations, and the most complex simulations without effect on our local machine. These results will provide the insight required to make better design decisions. Because, at the end of fluid conversations, sharing designs, thanks to an extensive material library, advanced camera settings, downloadable environments, and the best news, we can use the cloud again to offload the rendering process. Now that we've put the cart in front of the horse, we better start getting things ready for manufacturing by creating production drawings. Fusion 360 has all the features needed to do this. You can quickly lay out views of all types, add dimensions and tolerance information, create a bill of materials, and when you're done, you can take it to DWG or PDF to share wide and far. If those drawings fall short in describing assembly or disassembly procedures, you can use animations to do that and more. And now it's time to start producing parts. Good thing Fusion 360 has tool paths for 2.5, 3, 3 plus 2, 4, and 5 axis milling, turning and mill turn, and 2D profiles for those water jet, laser, or plasma jobs. Have a custom tool? We have a fully customizable tool library. Want to include work holding in the simulation? There's a comprehensive work holding library. Worried about tool wear? With adaptive clearing, our constant engagement roughing strategy, worry no more. Reduce setup time and increase process reliability by shifting work offsets with automated probing cycles. Take advantage of an extensive list of finishing strategies suitable for any geometry thrown at you and generate those quickly thanks to multi-threading. But that's just for subtractive manufacturing. There's also an additive manufacturing utility. So what are you waiting for? Come see how you can change the world with Fusion 360 and make anything. Okay. I, uh, so I hope you're uh, you're still with me. So sana po uh, ah yeah, nakita niyo yung uh, isa sa powerful, hindi pala isa no. Sa mga powerful uh, capabilities ng uh, Fusion 360. Okay? So ngayon po ay uh, let's uh, consider this as uh, beautification daw. Ayan, beautification ng ating uh, camera. Okay, so uh, ano kaya magandang uh, gawin? Okay. Uh, uh, ito. Lagyan kaya natin siya ng uh, lens talaga dito. Okay? Mhm. Mm so, se-select ko to, de ba? Uh, hit C. Okay, puta po ko sa front view. Yan. Okay, create ako ng circle dito. Okay? 
So, utilize natin yung concentric. Ito. Selecting concentric. Ito. Tsaka ito. Okay. So, i-define natin yung distance nito. Uh, mga siguro ganyan, no? Okay. So, hitting D. Tsaka to. And uh, to be exact, ang distance ng dalawang uh, circle na yan ay 3. Pwede na ba? Pwede. Okay? So, hit E for extrude. Yan. Sali ko po yung profile na yan. Uh, move tayo ng onte dito. Okay? So, basta magka-value lang, no? Uh, because my intent here is to create a dome. Dito, no? Dome shape. Representing our uh, lens. Yeah, tama naman, no? So, any value will do. Kasi ito naman sa ilalim, hindi na makikita yan. No? Matatabunan na ni lens yan. So, siguro negative 15 na lang. Okay? So, again, operation is cut. Yan. So, next. Uh, I-create na natin si dome. Okay? So, uh, mag-sketch tayo. Dahil nasa gitna ito, no? Itong... Uh, lens natin, nasa gitna. Again, we can utilize uh, YZ. ba? So, selecting YZ, right click, selecting create sketch. Okay? So, let's head to right view. So, in addition, hindi ko po makita yung gitna. ba? So, we can select or enable, ito po, no? Under sketch palette, selecting slice. Ayan. Okay. And from here, uh, we can uh, grab our arc tool. So, ito, another productivity tip. Instead of uh, heading up to create, ayan, and uh, trying to locate my uh, three-point arc. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit S. S. Ayan, S. So, yung pinitig ko po yung S, kung saan yung uh, current location of my cursor. May lumabas na menu. Now, it says sketch shortcuts. Now, uh, this menu is, ano no, uh, contextual. Meaning, it varies on the specific workplace that I am in. So, may it be under render animation. Iba po yung lalabas pag pinindot ko na yung S. So, nagkataon po, uh, it's, we are under sketch mode. So, ito po yung mga default commands available for us uh, in the sketch mode. So, it varies, no? If ever I'm in render, so later, no? Madi-discover natin, no? Iba rin po yung magiging uh, commands dito pag nasa render naman tayo. So again, it varies, no? Per uh, workspace. So, my intent now is to create an arc. So with that in mind, I can type a r c in the search field. And select three point arc. So, it drop natin yung uh, first point dito, second point dito, and the third point dito. Okay? So, hindi siya naka constrain. Obviously. Yeah. So, try nga natin i dikit to dito sa edge na to. Selecting ko incident. Select ko to at saka et. Ito. Ayaw. Okay? So, dahil ayaw, no? Uh, let's try P4 project. Se select ko po no to, no? Selection filter, specified entities, and I will uh, enable projection link. Try nga natin uh, ito. Selecting okay. Nagbigay ba siya? Ayan, nagbigay siya. So, hindi pa rin kumakapit, di ba? Uh, isa po sa command or the use of uh, uh, horizontal vertical constraint is 
ano, it aligns points horizontally and uh, vertically as well po. Ayan. So, good afternoon, Ma'am Emijin Colyado. Um, uh, Ma'am Liamido Nayan. So, register lang po, Ma'am, and uh, uh, we are requesting you to create this camera po as uh, your uh, required output. So, Sir or Ma'am Sandy, sorry po ah, Uh, hello po, ayan uh, Kumusta po dyan sa Limbon, Limbon So again, no, uh, I can align points horizontally and vertically no, With horizontal, vertical constraints So select ko po si horizontal, vertical I-align ko po itong point na to At saka point na to Horizontally Same here Itong point na to At saka point na to Horizontally In addition, pwede ko rin palang pantayin ito, no? itong point na to, tsaka point na to, uh, vertically, ayan. Good afternoon, Ma'am Hershey Joy Magaro. So, sa lahat po ng uh, ating uh, uh, mga kasama po ngayon, uh, uh, please inviting you po, no? uh, let's connect po in uh, LinkedIn. Again po, uh, ang, uh, ang name ko po dyan ay uh, Joe Mark Bakiran. So, do not, do not follow me. Uh, by following po, hindi, uh, although nasa career premium ako, pero mas maganda po na connect so we can ano, no, uh, chat each other. So, if ever you have uh, questions. Ayan, si Ma'am Joy Duzon. Thank you po. Ayan, so connect lang po sa LinkedIn. Again, yung mga nandito pa po, may may ano daw, may surprise treat sa mga gustong matuto pa ng uh, fusion further. So, okay na ba sa atin hanggang dito or we can be exact, no? I can utilize the tangent command by selecting this arc tsaka to pong uh, vertical uh, edge na to. Ayan, tsaka to. Ayan, tangent na. So, ginawa ko lang po na exacto. The tip of this arc, no, aligns uh, with this uh, vertical edge. Okay? So, selecting finish uh, sketch to check. Mm-hmm. So next, uh, my intent this time is to revolve. Uh, paikutin natin to kasi pag inextrude natin to pag anong direction lang po no nung side na to e eh, paano naman sa ibang angle. Okay? So we have to revolve uh, this. Okay? So let's head back to sketch no. Uh, I'm going to double left click sketch 7. Edit ko po 'yan. Slice po ulit para kita natin. Ayan, slice. Tapos uh, I'm going to hit L for a line. Ah, hanapin ko po yung midpoint ng uh, vertical line uh, edge na to. So ayan po lumabas uh, triangle and intersection indicating it, this is the midpoint. Ayan. So, create lang po ako ng vertical line dyan. Okay. So, select ko rin po to para maging construction. So, the the length of this line doesn't matter kasi uh, magiging ano lang po siya helper din. So, try nga natin mag-revolve Okay, kung pwede. So, selecting finish sketch. Pupunta po ako sa surface. Uh, may pagka-advance ng onte no? Kasi we're doing surfacing. Pero, same din siya, no? Uh, hanapin natin, no? Again, we can use the S key the, na minention ko po, S. And then, so, again, no? Iba siya, no? Kanina sa, 
Nasa sketch mode tayo, sketch shortcuts. Ngayon, design shortcuts. R, E, V, revolve. Select ko po itong itong uh, orange na to, no na revolve. So, tatlo kasi yan, di ba? Ito yan. Select ko to and ayan, no? na-select na natin yung profile. So, ang profile din po under uh, surface ay hindi necessarily uh, closed ano, no? area. Pag usapang ano po, uh, surface. So, select ko po yung axis. Ayan. So, the axis, dyan siya magre-revolve. Okay? So, in-enable ko na po yung axis. Select ko po itong ginawa nating uh, construction line. Okay? So, parang ahiyaw niya. So, try moving. So, let's uh, head back no, sa ating sketch. Ang gagawin ko naman ngayon, tatry ko siyang i-trim. So, double left click to enter sketch mode. Slice tayo ulit. No? Uh, or, I'm going to hit S again no? and uh, select break. Break. Because gusto kong i-break to no? into two. Ayan, sinalik ko po yung red na yun. Okay, but nag-iba na siya, no? Nawala yung uh, parang functionality ng uh, tangent. If that's the case, I can also select this, no? And uh, hit enter mismo. Okay? Para constrained siya. So, undo ko, no? Try, try natin. So, hindi ko pala siya na-break. etong line na to ang na-break ko. Okay? So, I'm going to hit undo S ulit and select break. S, B, R, E, K. Select ko po ulit yung break. Ayan. Mag-hover ako dito mismo sa sa ano natin, sa arc. Ayan. Left click. So, ayan. Break. Broken na siya. So, hindi pa rin siya fully defined. Okay lang din po yun, no? Pero, sige. Uh, I-fully defined na natin siya, no? By adding a dimension. So, ito, pwede ko po rin po siyang gawin. Gagawin ko na lang siya hindi siyang uh, construction entity. Hitting X. Ayan. So, ito po, hit D. I-define na natin yung uh, value nito. So, 75. Ayan. So, selecting finish sketch. Okay, try po nga natin ulit yung revolve under, ah, take note, under surface. So, S, R, E, V, selecting, revolve. Okay, prompted to select a profile, selecting this arc. Let's activate axis, selecting this uh, line, which will serve as our axis. Ayan, nandiyan na siya. So, selecting OK. Okay? So, in addition, notice po, no? Uh, sana napansin nyo, nagkaroon tayo ng body. Uh, pero, pag sinabi po kasing surface, ay uh, wala po siyang, ano yun, no? Uh, parang wala siyang mass. Ayan. So, na, uh, Take note lang din po, no, the difference between, uh, yan, sa icons pag body, solid body, ganyan. Pag surface body, ganyan yung icon niya. Okay? So, eto, pwede ko rin gawing solid body yan. Okay? So, gawin natin solid body siya. Uh, without heading up, no, I know that I can, uh, no, add thickness uh, to this surface by hitting S. Again, no, to, ano, no, to grab our shortcuts typing T H and uh, select thicken ito pong sa unang taas select po natin prompted to select faces selecting this uh, this face and i-pull natin pa kanan so let's say negative uh, 1.5 yung thickness ng lens natin Hitting OK. Ayan. So, meron na tayong uh, lente. Okay? 
So I would like to uh, give you ano no time at magbabladder break lang po ako saglit. At uh, uh, share ko po sa inyo tong uh, uh, isa sa ano no uh, movies na ginamitan ng Autodesk softwares. Ayan. So, kung ayaw nyo pa panoorin na to, uh, feel free to ano, no, play, play the, with your model and uh, follow along uh, sana. Ayan, uh, so yung MPC po na yon ay isa sa mga malalaking uh, 
customer po ng uh, Autodesk. So once more, uh, sorry po sa mga tao sa YouTube, no? Uh, meron din pala mga tao, akala ko wala. So salamat po. Uh, kumusta po kayo diyan? Uh, sorry po, uh, na natitingnan ko yung ano, <laughs> uh, yung Facebook natin. Okay? So moving uh, forward, uh, let's proceed to the beautification po of the uh, camera. Okay? So siguro po uh, ay hindi na pala siguro no uh, inviting you to uh, beautify uh, our uh, cam camera po further pag natuto na po yung iba sa atin sa Photoshop. Ayan, may application din po ulit and relation ang uh, Photoshop uh, papuntang uh, ayan Fusion. Okay, so hmm So, ang webcam ko po ngayon uh, nakikita ko parang meron siyang ano dito eh uh, ridges ba tawag doon no? Sa sa lente para maikot ko if I uh, I am going on uh, manual uh, focus. So, yung mga nagaabang po about uh, sa uh, certificates or survey Ayan, uh, Miss Nelsie is on a standby to answer po uh, lahat po ng questions nyo. Pero proceed po muna tayo sa uh, beautification daw. Ayan, okay. Hmm. So, lagyan natin ng ridges to, no? Okay. Uh, dahil nasa gitna siya ulit. No? Let's create another uh, sketch po sa YZ. Right click select create sketch okay and uh, head to right uh, view selecting slice yeah so my intent now is to create a uh, slot here Ayan. so uh, notice po No, yung line natin no, parang hook hey, arc so ang ibig sa po niya ibig sabihin po niyan ay in the line uh, command we can also ano, uh, create an arc to demonstrate I'm going to hit L po ah. left click and the left click and hold nakadiin po ako ah. ayan so release bitaw ayan punta dito left click and hold and connect ko siya sa end point Ayan. so notice po no uh, nakagawa ako ng slot nakagawa ako ng arc ano all under uh, the line command okay so uh, i'm hoping no you can you're following along again po l for line left click left click ng matagal hold Nakadiin pa rin ako sa mouse, release, uh, left click and hold. Ayan. So notice ito, no? wala siyang tangent. So pwede ako maglagay ng tangent ngayon. Ito, tsaka ito. Ayan, tangent po. Okay, so pwede, dahil hindi pa siya defined, no? uh, pwede ko siyang i-resize kasi wala pa siyang dimension. Okay, so ito ilalagay natin dito. Okay. Uh, siguro ikliang ko. Yan, so hit D for uh, dimension. Define natin distance nitong dalawa. Yan, yung center point po ang sinelect ko. Mm, 15. Let's try 15. Okay, and uh, let's hit D to define the radius. Uh, 0.35 hit enter ayan or ang intent ko po kasi sana dito ay uh, mag revolve eh, no? pero check natin kung uh, gagana siya Okay, so ia-align ko po itong uh, center point na to sa edge na to. Okay, but 
first, 'di ba? Pag sinelect ko to, wala wala siyang ma-select dito. So we need to project again. Okay, so hit P for project. Ah, uh, select ko po tong uh, line na to and hit okay. So ayan po, may point na tayo. I-align ko ngayon yung points na to. Uh, horizontally so select natin yung horizontal ito tsaka ito ayan pantay na siya so parang it hmm okay so itong uh, arc pala na to tsaka to ay hindi pantay so select natin equal select ko to at tsaka ito so parang ay parang iba eh no select ko nga to oh oh iba nga sya so select nga natin ulit equal eto tsaka eto ayan ayan ok So next uh, I-move ko lang to dito no? Kasi possibly Kailangan natin ng Axis no? I'm going to hit L Select ko to papunta dun Ayan. So gawin ko rin po siyang ano, Construction line X Ayan. Okay So gumawa po ko ng slot no na 15 na uh, by 0.35. I-move natin siya dito banda. No, and to be exact, lagyan natin ng distance mula sa edge na to hanggang dito. Mm, let's say 1.5. Okay? So i-grab na natin yung uh, revolve S R E V selecting revolve Ah, kailangan natin yung buong kalahati. Okay, so i-delete ko po muna to. I-move ko ulit to dito para makita ko or I can turn off yung bodies po. Ayun. So dapat pala hindi ko dinilit no. I'm going to hit S at hahanapin ko po yung extend. Ayun, extend ko yan diyan. Ito rin, extend ko hanggang sa dulo doon. Okay, so try nga natin kung kaya nang ma-revolve to. So dapat kalahati siya. So ito, ibabalik ko siya as a solid line. So hit X lang po. Ayan. So once more, hit S. Solid po, ah. ginawa ko kasi para kalahati. Eh, no? Kalahati po ng profile niya. Pag nag-hover ako, profile siya, di ba? REV revolve selecting this activating axis select ito pong horizontal line okay hindi visible kasi po pinatay natin yung visibility di ba ayan so operation new body ayan and hit okay ayan so may nagawa na tayong isa So next na gagawin natin ay i-revolve -re ulit natin to no as ano a uh, circular pattern. So S uh, P A T T selecting circular pattern po. Ayun, sana nakakasunod pa rin kayo. Okay, bodies selecting ito pong ginawa nating ano no, itong ridge na to, ayan. Selecting axis At select ko po itong cylinder na to Itong cylindrical face po As my axis So pattern type po, body Sinelect ko po itong body na to Yung latest na ginawa natin And for axis, itong face na to Tatry kong iselect Ayan, tama mm, So let's bump this value up Let's say 20 Maliit, uh, 50 Okay 
Uh, pwede bang 100? Mas maganda lalo. Okay? So, selecting. Okay. Ayan. Di gumanda na lalo yung uh, ating camera. ba? Diba? Okay? So, in addition, uh, pwede yung mga ha, ano dyan, no? uh, sharp edges. Kapareho na okay. fillet. So, fillet po yung pronunciation nun. No? Uh, yung fillet is yung pagkain daw po yun. No? Yung fish. <laughs> fillet. Ayan. So, select po natin yung edge if ever we would like to add a uh, fillet. Okay? Or, pwede nating uh, CHA chamfer. Okay, so lagyan natin ng konting chamfer. Let's say 1.5. Diba? Selecting, okay. Ayan. So, gumaganda na. So, itong viewfinder naman, diba? Pwede natin iselect to. Diba? Uh, hit O for offset. Select ko po ito, no? O offset ko siya ng mga... Negative 1.5 Hit enter Tapos hit E for extrude So lagyan ko po siya ng konting uh, Cut Let's say negative uh, 1.5 din Ayan, so meron na tayong uh, Extrusion dyan Okay ba? Tapos, eto, bonus po, no? Uh, si Ma'am Nelsie na yung ano eh, malapit na si Ma'am Nelsie. So, as a bonus, uh, let's say uh, gusto natin lagyan ng logo. Marunong na tayo mag-photoshop. Uh, Ayan. Or pwede rin ako maglagay ng LCD panel, di ba? So, again, uh, the possibilities are endless. It's up to your... Uh, Imagination po, di ba? Ayan. So, uh, bukas, tuturuan ko po rin po kayo ng mga techniques. No? Ayan. So, ta-type ko Canon logo. Okay? So, dapat, ayan, uh, next, uh, uh, gusto ko pong matutunan nyo ay sa Photoshop ay pagka-crop no? at uh, pag-extract ng mga images sa uh, internet so mas preferred ko dapat ay kahit ano na lang no? ito, yan, sige okay so select Oy, so parang ano siya no? uh, transparent PNG so sige nga, check nga na 10 right click select save image as ayan po no save ko siya dito canon logo so pag iba, ipag png po kasi may transparency yan ayan. so selecting save so save ko po siya sa target folder ko po uh, it may depend sa inyo po kung saan nyo sinave so okay balik tayo sa fusion at under insert no i'm going to select decal so ayan po no decal ay yeah nagpe-place tayo ng decal uh, from the ano no the image na nakikita nyo po no ngayon autodesk so select select natin decal and uh, i-locate natin yon so selecting insert from my computer kinapi ko kanina yung location nun, no so, I'm going to hit V for paste, hit enter. At, ayan. I-select na natin si Canon logo. Selecting open. Nagtatanong siya ngayon. So, palaging pag may nakikita kayong blue, ayan, nagtatanong yan. Saan face mo gusto siyang ilagay? Jo Mark. Okay? So, I'm going to select uh, this face. Ayun. Uh, selecting front uh, view. And uh, ito po ay rotate handle So rotating this To be exact no? I can key in 90 para sure po no? And I can resize this Ito pong curved uh, cur Itong arc na to dito no? Ayan. 
para ma-maintain yung aspect ratio. Okay? So, saan ba kaya maganda? Dito na lang. Yan. And select okay. So, panalo. Uh, we now have uh, I am hoping na nandiyan pa po kayo. Shout out naman dyan. Kung nandiyan pa kayo. So, now we have added a new no? a logo. Ayan. So, again, uh, hoping ano, no, to see your ano, improved uh, version spot ng inyong camera. Okay? Tapos, sige, uh, hanggang dito na lang po muna tayo, no? And, uh, please, ano po, no? Uh, yan, pagandahin nyo pa po. Sana may natutunan po kayo sa mga bagong uh, techniques na shinare ko, sir, ma'am. So, ngayon, ayan, the, one of the fun part is, uh, Thank you, you're still there. Ma'am Karen, Ma'am Anna, Ma'am Nokrame, Ma'am Mabel. Ayan, Sir Zell, Sir X-Ray. Ayan. Uh, next, ay, pag magre-render na po tayo, no? uh, but before we do anything, ito po yung isang tip uh, whenever you're rendering something. Uh, the best practice is to remove sharp edges. So, ito po sharp yan, no? yung edge na yan. Okay. So let's ano no let's apply fillets. So mabilisan uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a window selection under one no window selection and I'm going to hit F the shortcut po for fillet. Uh, let's try let's begin with the value of 0.5. Ayan mukhang okay na siya. Ayan. So 0.5 committing to that selecting okay. Yan. Okay? So let's now head over to uh, uh to to another workspace. This time, no, I'm going to head over to render. Okay? Because our intent here is to create a photorealistic render. And uh, ano po? Ang render po ni Fusion 360 ay yeah, maganda rin po. Ano? So if ever na gusto niyo pong uh, mas uh, uh, mas malupit pa siya. Ayan, uh, in the future uh dali natin siya sa ano yun, sa Max, sa Maya together with uh, Arnold Render. Okay? So now by default this is ano no yung material po nito ay solid uh, steel so to prove that pag hinit ko po yung A or eto po yan ha, appearance shortcut for appearance is A ayan no steel satin so uh, let's change the properties the materials and the uh, appearance of our camera so possibly uh, let's head over to other check nga natin uh, hmm mirror glass ayan so glass so under glass uh, let's select nga glass medium color so ito po ginawa ko kasi siyang body eh, no? pag nag hover ako ang pangalan niya body 8 Okay. So grab ko po tong, uh, glass heavy color blue. Let's try this. So apply to no ang sabi niya body's components. Okay? So I'm going to apply this sa ano po sa uh, body. Ayan. Pwede rin po face. Pero body na po siya no, isang buong uh, part na siya. So Heading to glass, heavy color blue, left click po, no, and hold, drag, and drop. Ayan. So, pwede rin pong i-drag and drop nyo papunta mismo dyan. Kaya ko po sinabi kanina yung uh, advantage of renaming things. So, ngayon po, hirap tuloy ako. 
'di ba? Hindi ko kasi na rename to as ano, lens uh, mirror. Tama ba? May R pa pala. Ayun. So next, hit A, the shortcut po for appearance itong color wheel diyan. Mm. Let's apply another ano no, another appearance. Uh, how about plastic or uh, paint? No? Uh, so select ko glossy, drag and drop the to. Yeah, drag and drop ulit di to sa camera panel. Yan. In addition, pwede ko rin pong i-tweak to. Right click, select edit. Pwede natin uh, bawasan yung uh, itim niya. Ayan, para mas gray siya. Selecting done. So notice no, nag-update po lahat. Uh, let's say etong knob at saka etong button na to uh, gawin nating metallic flake. So download ko no, hindi pa siya na-download yung material na yan. Download Ayan, so drag and drop dito sa body na to or pwede rin pong face ha. Ito rin no, metallic flake diyan. Okay, so pwede nat itong in this design, ito po yung current materials natin dito. Pwedeng i-reuse natin tong paint enamel, no? I-drag natin papunta sa ating viewfinder. Ayan, so pwede natin i-edit din yung properties ng nandito na sa ating in our design. So, right-click lang po and select edit. Uh, I can reduce the scale if ever. So, binawasan ko po siya ng onte. Selecting done. So, ito po siguro, uh, gawin na lang din nating enamel paint, no? Drag and drop sa lens body. Tapos, lahat po ng mga ginawa nating ridges. Ito, sinilay ko po yung sa taas, no? Scroll down sa pinakababa. Ayan, ang dami. 100 kasi to. Hold shift para maselect lahat. Uh, try natin paint metal flake ang i-add natin. So, drag and drop. Dito naman po sa uh, ating browser. Release. Ayan. Okay. Selecting close. And uh, i-set up po natin yung scene settings natin. So select ko po to scene settings. No, uh, under environment. Ayun. So pwede po tayo, no. If you're familiar with HDRI, marami pong websites na pwede tayong mag-download ng background. Ayun. So try natin uh, i-download yung uh, dry lake bed. Okay, so downloading dry lake bed. So iyan lang po yung default. If ever uh, gusto niyo iba, no, uh, you can uh, make a quick search sa favorite web uh, uh, or search engine and uh, download an HDRI. Ayan, so na download na natin siya dry lake bed. No, pwede natin i-drag and drop din yan. So, left click and hold, drag and drop. So, hindi pa nagbabago kasi we need to head over to our settings. Okay? So, pero nag-update na siya, no? Pero hindi fully updated. Ayun, no? nakikita ko na po yung reflection. Awesome. Wow. Reflection sa ating uh, mirror, di ba? Sa glass. So, sa background, change po natin environment. Ayan. So, ayan na po yung ano, uh, ating camera na nasa desierto. So, lagyan na lang natin siya ng quick pose, zoom ko. So, again, ang paggamit lang dyan, yung uh, mga ating navigation commands. So, rotate ko ng onte Mas gusto ko ganyan, di ba? Uh, in addition, i-flatten natin yung ground para sakto yung ilalim. Naka, ano, no? Nakadikit sa lapag. Yan. And pwede rin natin i-rotate yung position ng ating environment. So, notice, 
Ito po yung ano no, yung shadow. Pwede kong i-rotate 'yan with this slider. Ayun. Ayun, okay na ba 'to? Sa inyo, selecting close again depending on your preference. So and another thing, we can now select in canvas render. Ayun. O, nagre-render na tayo. The more na mas magiging uh, maganda siya. So, same with Photoshop din po, di ba? So, uh, yan, if you have uh, children, <laughs> and for those who are ano, no, young at heart, ayan, uh, parang okay din na bonding to, gawa, gawa kayo ni, ano, no, ng mga anak nyo ng something dito, tapos, Uh, if you have the budget, no, you can have this uh, 3D printed, so additional toy or uh, marami po, no. So ako sample this is sino po mayroong ganito? Ball. Ito po ay 3D printed na ano? Bukong totoong geography or topology ng ano to, no? Ng pero this is 3D print. nakatuwa bagong laro combined with few electronics di ba LED uh, yan mga students yan electricity another thing to make possibilities uh, the happiness <laughs> is uh, so make this tool as ano no learning fun bonding time with the chikitings no uh, hindi lang po to a few this ano no software is a powerful that used to create real real world stuff no may it be a producto no so if i have knowledge about ng camera na to pwede na nating gawing camera talaga to no kung alam ko yung mga electronics nito and uh, yung eto kasi ay pwede mong uh, may connectivity po ang fusion sa PCB no uh, meron diyang software din ng Autodesk So mas ma mabigat lang siya no pag ano kasi uh, ang in canvas render po ay ginagamit niya yung processing power ng computer niyo mismo. So tinanggal ko lang po muna no umalis muna ako, pumunta ako sa design para maikot ko siya. Oh, so balik po tayo no. Ayun, para palakita yung Canon in canvas uh, render ulit. Ayun. So simple pa po to no ah uh, Ayan, share ko po sa inyo yung uh, dati ko pong ginawa. Ayan, etong uh, etong sapatos po na to ay kotse. Ayan, laruan again. Or nasira yung uh, knob ng uh, gitara nyo. Ayan, you can 3D print uh, no, no, a, a knob.